Hi everyone, before we jump into our uh, module two of our footprinting, I just want to share a couple uh, uh, downloads that you can use to get set up for this course. So um, I do recommend you get the Cyberry Lab Bundle. So if you're watching this and you don't have the uh, Cyberry Insider Pro membership, um, it's it's a reasonable amount and I think it's awesome because you get access to all the labs. You can practice all this stuff. And I do use the Cyberry Labs predominantly in this course. So I do want to stress that um, that you can configure those things on your own stuff, but we're not going to go over that in this particular course. So uh, the tools that I, I would use if I were you, if you're not going to do the Cyber Labs and you don't have access to labs, is I would have you download VirtualBox um, and then also Kali Linux as well. So with VirtualBox, you can either just Google search VirtualBox or go to virtualbox.org. You'll just click on the downloads page. Now, if you're running a, uh, uh, you know, depending on your uh, system, what you're running, which operating system, but if you're running Windows, um, you'll, you'll want to download your uh, Windows as well uh, as the extension pack here. So make sure you grab both. Otherwise, if you just download the VirtualBox itself, uh, it's not going to work on your Windows. So if you're running Microsoft Windows in any, any capacity, grab your platform first here, download that, install that, and then grab your extension pack and s install that as well. It does take a minute to install. We're not going to go over step by step in this video. You can find a million videos on a YouTube that if you have questions on it, but it's very straightforward. You just download it and this, once you launch it, next, 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 all the way through and you're done. So Kali Linux is our uh, actual tool that we would use our operating system. So this is a Linux distribution by Offensive Security. Um, once you come to Kali.org, you can just scroll down to get to the downloads page and then you can click on Kali Linux. It's going to take you to the actual downloads page. You're going to just scroll down. And what you're looking for is to go to the offensive security download page. So if you're going to use VirtualBox, which I just showed you where you can grab it from, we want to go grab the uh, Kali Linux for that. So it's going to be uh, the latest version of VirtualBox. You should be generally running a 64-bit system. So make sure you grab this here. Then you're just going to click on the offensive security download page. It's going to take a moment or so to load up for you. And then yeah, just scroll down here and it's going to show you uh, the different um, options here that you can get. Now you're going to see these are VMware. Make sure you click on the Kali one, excuse me, the VirtualBox ones here. And then this is what it's going to be. Now you can perform a hash of the download if you want to, um, but uh, we're not going to uh, cover that at all. And then uh, go ahead and download it. Now I will, I do want to warn you that it's pretty large. I think it's about two or three gigs. And so it's going to take a while to download. So it might be something where you just download it and walk away from your computer for a while and just, you know, do whatever else and then come back. Um, I think for me on this particular Windows machine, it took about uh, 20 to 25 minutes to get it all the way downloaded. Um, yeah, you see there it's three, three and a half gigs. Um, so it does, it does take a minute to download. Um, but once it's downloaded, literally all you have to do, you'll go to your downloads folder and you'll see a little icon and it says Kali. You just double click that. It'll launch it automatically in your virtual box and install it. So um, it's very like once you get it downloaded, that's all the hassle is gone out of your life. So I did want to mention one other thing regarding VirtualBox, and I don't know why it does this on occasion, uh, but it always does it for me. I might may just be bad luck or something, but uh, generally it'll have a missing NAT when you first install it. So let me just click on my VirtualBox. You see I got different machines here, so just ignore those. But um, what what will happen? Um, and we'll just pick on this one here. So when you go to uh, to settings and then you go to your networking and uh, you're looking at your uh, adapters here, um, generally what you may find is that it only has like net network. It's labeled as net network. Now, it's not going to work if, if it just has that. So basically the fix for that is you would just, you know, cancel out of this. You're going to actually come to the settings of, of the VirtualBox manager here. So click on settings. Excuse me. Um, let me go back here. You're going to go to uh, file and then preferences. I'm getting ahead of myself there. So file preferences. And then you're going to come to uh, network right here. And here, basically, you're just going to click this little uh, plus sign at the top right here. That's going to create another network network for you, which I've already done here. So I have a number one after it. Surprisingly simple. That's literally all you have to do. So then what you're going to do is you would just say, OK, once you've created that, and then go back to your, uh, your uh, machine, whether it's Kali or if you download like Windows and stuff too. And then click on settings. Go back to your network settings. And then all you would have to do is just click on this box and you would see your NAT Network 1 or whatever it's called in there for you. And then just say OK. And now you can launch your virtual machine and you'll be good to go. I don't know why that's such a simple fix and why it doesn't like automatically do that, but for some reason it does. So I just want to share that with you as well. So uh, again, this was not like a real lab. That's why I don't have a document of step by step or anything. But all you have to do is download VirtualBox. Make sure you download load the uh, package. I'm going to click back on it. Uh, download the extension, extension pack here if you have Windows. 
And then also, um, you know, just go to Kali.org to grab the Kali Linux and get that installed as well. Again, for both of these, there are literally hundreds of thousands of YouTube videos that will walk you through so you can find someone that'll, that'll kind of vibe with you and you can figure out how to do this. So again, in the next section, we're going to jump right into our footprinting.